Welcome, 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 welcome back to Island Girl Gardener and Up. I'm your man up here today. We're just going to talk about a little what we found out yesterday. A couple things I learned yesterday from a guy he, who, uh, who, who grows blueberries. He has a blueberry farm. And he, uh, he closed it. And he said he's like 85. He's like, well, I'm about, I'm, I'm you know, time to close it up. His son don't want to do it. And he has a part-time job. So now enough money in it for him. But then he had like a, a blueberry picking farm. Where you go and pick your own blueberries at. So he's selling some of the plants. So I went and got two plants yesterday. I got this one right here. This one right here. You see how tall that is. This one right here. And then I got this one over here. Where is it at? Right there. Got that one too. This is one of the ones. This little, little one right here. Came out the side of one of them. So, got those three yesterday. And I was talking to the guy. He said, he was telling me a couple of things I didn't know. But he said, when he plant his blueberries, he puts um, five pounds, <laughs> five gallons. He put five gallons of um, peat moss under the bottom of it. He said, when you dig a hole, Put five gallons of peat moss in the hole. Then put your plant on top of that. And then cover the sides with dirt. You know, it's regular dirt. Do it that way. And then, you know, test. You know, you got to test your pH anyway. Make sure your pH is low enough for about 5.5. .5. But he said put five gallons of peat moss under the plant. And I was like, more the thing of like, put a little bit of peat moss, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of pine bark. That's why I was doing mine. But... I guess I'm going to do it his way now. So I, that's how I did these down. I did these. I put five gallons of peat moss underneath them. The way he said do it. So you learn a little bit. Then also he was telling me that you have to keep the middle open. So prune the middle of your plants and keep them open. Keep the center of your plants open so the air can circulate through, through the middle of your blueberry plants. So, I had, like I said, before I got those, I had like about 15 blueberry plants and had them in the ground over there. And a lot of them started to die for like two years. So, I pulled them up, put them in the pots. And out of the 15, I got like one, here they are right here. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe six look like they're doing pretty good. Rest don't look like they're going to make it. So I'm gonna leave these in the pot for another year. They 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 start to do better in in the pot. I'm gonna leave them in the pot for a little while. But for this one right here, this is a sunshine. This is a sunshine blueberry plant. And I'm just gonna prune the middle out a little bit. And get it ready. Oh, so we're gonna prune. So he, he was like, you know, you gotta prune your plants. Get the dead ones out. Let me get the dead ones out. This is a sunshine uh, blueberry. So you gotta keep them prone. Yeah. See all these these dead ones? They're not gonna do anything. So, a couple years old. Keep the middle open. And this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut that. Um, this, this one, this one. Cover the dead leaves off, throwing them off. And the little buds that's on, if you see some buds, little bulbs, little bulbs on it like that, that's where your fruit will come from next year. So next spring, you always see the little buds that, that's where the blueberries gonna come in. And the best time to fertilize them. Thank you. And the best time to fertilize them is, he say he fertilizes them three times a year. He fertilizes them early spring. He fertilizes them as soon as the blooms come out. Then he fertilizes them like a little later on in the year. So this one should be good to go. So 
Oh, yeah. Things a little tough, a little tough. So yeah, this should be good to go with that one. That's not nice. Always remember to uh, clean your pruners, sterilize them before you before you get started. And this one here, we can prune this one up too. All them branches like that. Then I can do anything. Like I said, if it don't have blooms on it, it ain't going to have nothing on it the following year. So you just got to keep the middle open. And learn from the older folks. So you got to listen sometimes. Ask questions. Learn a little bit. So yeah, that's about it, y'all. Today I'll just show y'all how we uh gotta keep the prune in the middle of your blue prairie plants. So I might I might put a little more peat moss in these right here. Put a little more peat moss in it. And uh because I got mostly pine bark and mostly pine bark in these. I don't think I got any peat moss, I got most of pine bark. I'm gonna add a little more peat balls to these. Get them right. I'm gonna pull up the rest of those that's died out. Keep the soil and uh, get everything straight. So that's about it for right today. Just mess around out here in the garden. Plant a couple of blueberry plants. And look at my uh, Rona berry. My Rona berry. Almost five foot tall, y'all. Going tall. I try to air layer right there. I try to air layer. We still haven't done anything yet, so we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna leave it and see what happens. Maybe it'll, it'll maybe it'll come around over time. So like and subscribe to Island Girl Garden and up. So leave a thumb up. Have to share the page. Till next time.